In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can create a dark mode switcher on your WordPress website by using Elementor. You may find a bunch of plugins to create this dark mode, but you know, unfortunately, none of them are working very well. So today I'll show you how we can create a 100% working dark mode switcher where you can design a fully customizable toggle button. You can specifically edit each and every text or background color for the dark mode. Or even you can also use two different images for these two different modes. I'll also show you how you can also save that dark mode on your browser cookie. So when anyone revisit, they can see your site in their previously selected mode. That's a lot of thing we need to cover. So without further ado, let's see how can we create all of this. Here you can see this is a sample page, which I have been built by using the Elementor page builder. If you don't know how to create this kind of page by using Elementor, I have a full tutorial on that. You can check that out from here. But in today's tutorial, I will not show you that. I will only show you how you can create a dark version of this page and also add a dark mode switcher. So when you click on this, our page will toggle between the dark and light mode. So for that, we need to create a toggle button. So we will create that by using this inner section widget. So let's drag this to anywhere of your page. I want to drag this to the very bottom of this section. And inside this section, I also want to take and divider widget. Let's drag this to here and delete our this remaining empty column. So here before styling this divider widget, first of all, I want to place this whole inner section at the bottom right corner here. So for this, let's go to this inner section settings. And from this advanced tab, we need to use some custom CSS code. And by the way, to use this custom CSS option, you have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. So let's paste this code to here. And you can see our inner section now moved to this place. Here, if you also look at this code, you can see we have set its position to fixed. So when you scroll down to our page, it will always remain to the same position. And we have also give a 50 pixel width. And from the bottom, we have also give a 30 pixel of distance. And also from the right. Okay. But here you can see this inner section is actually goes behind this footer. So we can fix this by increasing its Z index from this advanced tab. If we make it to one. Okay, now we can see it properly. So now I want to design this divider widget. Basically, I want to convert this divider widget into a toggle button. For this, first of all, I want to go to the style tab and give its weight to 25 or 24 pixel and also want to reduce this gap. And then I also want to make a rounded corner of this. So from this advanced tab here in this border option, let's make 100 pixel of border radius. Okay, but we cannot see it here because what we need to do, we need to go to here in this style tab. And from here, we need to make this color to fully transparent and we will give our background color from this background option. And let's also give a border. So give it to solid, make it to 2 pixel and also give a border color to this. Okay, now here you can see some padding for this column. We also need to remove this. So for this section settings, here from this layout, I also want to make this column gap to no gap. So our toggle button background is done. Now I also want to add a circle inside this button. So we will do that by using this icon widget. Let's drag this under this divider widget. And first of all, I want to change this icon. Let's change its color. Make its size to 14 and also give it a background color. Now I want to place this icon over this toggle button. So for this, let's go to this position and I want to make its position to absolute. And from the left, I want to make it to six pixel. 
and also from the top 6 pixel. Here as we want to make this icon a full circle, so let's give its width to a custom width and make it to 20 pixel and we will also give it a 20 pixel of height. But here there is no option for setting our height. So let's do it with our custom CSS. Here we have give it height to 20 pixel and also write some additional code to adjust this. So here you don't need to worry about all of this code snippet. I will give all of this to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. From here you just need to copy and paste that code to here. So right now let's also give it a border radius. So from this border option, make it to 100 pixel. Now here everything looks good. But you can see here are some space right after this divider widget. So this space is basically comes from our widget spacing. If we go to this column settings. So here you can see this widget space is 20. By default Elementor gives a 20 pixel of spacing between each of the widgets. But here I don't want this. So let's make it to 0. Now that looks perfect. So the next thing we need to do, we need to make this button active. So when you click on this, our this button will be toggling. For this, first of all, we need to write some JavaScript code. So let's go to here and search for HTML widget and drag this to anywhere of your page and paste here this part of this code snippet. And then we need to again go to this inner section and from this advanced tab here we also need to add a class dark dash toggle and here on this custom CSS we also need to paste some more code so after this code we also need to paste this so right now let's save this and if we go to our preview now here if we click on this you can see our button has been working properly so it has two different state this is our light mode button and this is our dark mode button so for our dark mode state here you can also see a different background or the icon color so if you go to this code snippet from here you can also change this color like the border the background or the icon color for our dark mode state so for example if we set a red background color for this button and save this here you can see instead of the black color now it has become a red background color but i want to keep it to default so let's redo this now our toggle button works properly so the next thing we need to do when we enable our dark mode our website content has also need to be shown in a dark mode so for this first of all we need to go to this page settings and go to this advanced tab and here we need to paste this code so that means when we enable our this dark mode our page background will be this dark color okay now we can see when the dark mode has been enabled our page background has been this dark color and for this light mode it has become to the default white color here i have used this 1919 color code so instead of this if you want to use a different color you can do this very easily so let's go to any color picker option like for this button if we go to this text color and pick a black color from here you just need to copy this color code and let's undo this here and instead of this color you just simply paste your different color code okay so here we have changed our background color but we also need to change the text color because we actually cannot see this black text with this dark background. So here for example I just want to change this text color. So let's right click on this text and click on inspect. And in this bottom panel you can see the source code for our this page. From the right side here you can see this is our HTML code. And on the left side here is our CSS code which is actually responsible for the design of our page. Here on this highlighted line, you can see this text discover, which is basically an h2 HTML tag. And on the right side, you can see for this heading tag, here are some CSS code. 
and you can see the source code like which color has been used the font size the font family all and everything so from here i just want to change its text color to this white color and then we need to copy this portion of this code and go back to our edit page and here for this heading we need to go to its custom css and paste it to here so after that we also need to write a curly brace and inside that curly brace we will paste our color code so again go to here and i also want to copy this line of the color and paste it to here and then at the very first of this code we also need to write down dot dark and also put an space so now if we save this and go to our page now we can see this white color text for our dark mode and when we go back to our light mode we can also see this default black color cool right so by following the same process we can also do it with any of our text for example here i also want to do it with this text so let's right click on here and click on inspect and here for this h3 highlighted tag we can also see a black color here so we just need to click on this color picker and choose a bright color and then copy this top portion of this code go to this widget settings and this custom css and paste it to here also put a curly brace inside this curly brace we also need to paste this color and lastly don't forget to put dot dark at the beginning perfect so by following the same process let's quickly do this for all of the text inside this page okay now we can see we have done this with almost all of the content inside our page so that looks really amazing and here if you look at our this paragraph we do not do anything with that because this paragraph color looks perfect for both of these versions then here if we go to this section here we also need to make a different version for our dark mode if we go to our edit page for this section you can see here we have used a off white color on the style we have set that color from here so like before i just want to right click on this section and i want to navigate through these elements okay this one this section so here when we hover over around that element you can see which element has been focused so here for this section on the right side you can also see this background color from here like before we also need to copy this top portion but we need to select only this focused part not to this faded portion so before this comma we just need to copy this and go to this section settings write down dot dark space and paste it to here put a curly brace then from here we can also set a different background color for our dark mode let's copy this line and paste it to here we also need to set a different color for this input so let's right click on this input and here is the background color so i want to change this to this dark color and also change this border color and also change this text color to white so here this is the text color so for this form widget i have also quickly write down this value and here i also want to change this color of this button right click on here on this right side here we cannot see any background or any color so let's navigate through this one okay we can find this so here i just want to reverse this color i want to make this background to white and make this text color to this black color okay now we can see everything looks perfect we also just need to fix this text so let's quickly do this 
Now our full page looks really very good in this dark mode. But lastly, we also need to do that with our this header. So here, especially for this logo, you can see it's not looking really good with this dark background. For our dark mode, we will use a fully different logo. Let's go to our heading template settings. Here, this is our logo, which is basically an image widget. So here, the first thing we need to do, we need to wrap this image widget inside an inner section. So go to here and drag this inner section widget to here. Let's delete our this second column. And I want to drag this image widget inside this inner section and also want to remove this column gap. So go to this inner section settings and make this column gap to no gap. Then for this image, I want to duplicate this. And for this second image, I want to use a bright logo for our dark mode. Let's select this one and place this logo at the exact position of our first logo. So for this logo, I want to position this to the absolute. Then from this parent inner section, let's add a class to here dark dash image and in this custom css we also need to paste some code so now when we toggling on this button we can see two different logos for our these two different modes and here for this menu we have make it wide by following the same previous process now everything looks good for our this page and for our footer we also don't need to do anything because it also looks perfect for both of our this version so the last thing we need to do if we go to our mobile devices here for our this mobile menu we also need to make it dark and this toggle button to white let's right click on here let's copy this portion of this code and paste it to here and make it to white color and also change the navigation menu text and the background color like this okay now we can see our menu also looks perfect for this dark mode lastly i want to show you another cool feature of this dark mode so here on this edit page if we go to this our javascript code snippet here you can see we have also write some code to save our this dark mode inside our browser cookie. So here if we go to our this page and enable this dark mode and close our browser and again reopen our page. You can see now our page has been opened with this dark mode which we have previously set. So this is really very helpful because some people really like this dark mode and on the later time when they revisit your page they don't always have to re-enable this dark mode from this toggle which is really cool so that's how you can create a 100% customized dark mode on your elementor website i know it's pretty repetitive and also time consuming to change each and every content color one by one but if you want to design your dark mode on your own way it's the best solution for that. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.